A princess from Java, Indonesia, which is the world's largest Muslim nation, uh, she recently uh, re-adopted her original faith and uh, uh, adopted uh, the Sanatana Dharam or Hinduism. And uh, like this story from Indonesia, many people have in various different parts of the world uh, who were not originally from this dharam have sort of uh, adopted it as their own. And uh, how would you sort of explain this trend? How would you explain people choosing Sanatana Dharam out of their own will uh, and adopting it as their own uh, dharam? I really think that, um, you know, dharmic paths and faiths are the future of religion and spirituality. Um, I'm not just saying that as a Hindu now, but from what I've observed and studied um, after my entire life of really immersing myself in different religions and researching them and really getting to the depths of them, I feel like the way our world is evolving and society is evolving consciously we no longer resonate with these moralistic or black and white traditions that seem to not be, you know, matching with the way we're growing as a as humanity and are are not, you know, about direct connection. And I think that, you know, the Dharmic paths are very much centered in direct connection with the divine and you know that recognition that we are that con that same consciousness there is not a separation and that that type of you know philosophy and intertwining with modern day science you know starting more and more to be in alignment with these same principles that have been explained in the vedas for you know thousands and thousands of years i think just gives a lot of credibility to the cosmic science of it and as you know I'm sure most of us who, who live this faith understand it's not really limited to the term of religion, but it's so much more than that, right? It's it's this this yeah cosmic science and lifestyle of um, of really understanding ourselves in the universe. So I think that that is why so many people are are really uh, when they're seeking, you know, to find out who they are, why they're here, and all of these things. I think that Hinduism provides a really big range of explanations for all of that that give a lot of you know powerful context for people no matter where they're from